exclusive on Quese Friday Fight Nights. Our student in charge from the Central Area Council of the British Boxing Board of Control, Mr. Alistair Hayes. This is 10 three minute rounds of an international challenge super featherweight title. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the orange colored shorts. At the weight he scaled nine stone, three pounds. His excellent ring record this evening reads 20 contests, 16 wins. Five of those wins coming by way of knockout with just the four defeats. He comes to the ring this evening as the current and reigning IBF Continental Africa South S Super Featherweight Champion presenting from Swickopman, Namibia. Here is Energy Abraham and And opposing him, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the green clutch shorts trimmed with white. At the weight he scaled, nine stone, one pound, 12 ounces. He also has an excellent record consisting of 18 contests, 14 wins. Three of those wins coming by way of knockouts, three defeats and one draw. He comes to the ring as the current Scottish area super featherweight and lightweight champion hailing from Cambers Lang, Scotland, Jordan, Jordy McCory. Timekeeper Gary Grenham from Burnley, England and the referee in charge of the action, one of the world's finest, Mr. John Latham from Barry, Lancashire, England. 10 three minute rounds of championship boxing. I'm expecting you both, you obey me instructions at all times. When I tell you break, you both break clean. Defend yourselves at all times and the best of luck to both. Touch gloves, lads, touch them up. Here we go, Abraham Duan Dafo from Swakopman in Amiri against Jordan McCurry from Paisley in Scotland. Two guys that mirror each other in styles and mirror each other really in their records as well. This should be a good one. Jordan McCurry's got a good fan base Seconds out, round one. Oh, you noticed the fan base then? I noticed it, I could hear it. Yep. yep. Geordie's come down south. The last time we saw Scotland versus Namibia? Oh dear, yeah. Julius Ndongo versus Ricky Burns. And we all know how that one played out. I don't think it'll be like that today, but you never know. Well, again, just like all the UK Africa fights, just really intriguing one. Two lads with very similar records <laughs> and similar ambitions. One thing about Abraham Duendapa, he will go the full distance here. I mean, he will not stop throwing punches. This is one thing about him so much. He's nicknamed the energy and he really does show that. Um, just keeps on throwing punches. It's susceptible to getting put down. He has been put down the last few times I've seen him, but always gets up and always keeps on going. Really interesting to see how they're both trying to size each other up, trying to take a really good look at each other in this opening round. Abraham Duendato, a lot, a lot, the much older of the two. Um, Jordan McCrory, 26 years old. Duendato, 34 years old. Wonder that will play a part as it goes down. Some of that's our rounds in terms of the energy and the strength. Remember Jordan McCurry, current Scottish super featherweight champion. Yeah, he's still a very ambitious lad. This is his fourth fight of the year, staying active. Very, very busy, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. Last fought just, what, a few weeks ago, didn't he, against Rafael Castillo getting the, the win early there in Glasgow. Yeah, he's, he's, you know, he's had, a, in some ways, a stop-start career, and he's had a few blips that he's had to deal with in terms of defeats, but mm. again, 
He's been in with decent opposition. He's, he's, he's only lost to uh, the likes of Ronnie Clark, which no shame in that. And Absolutely. There's a real desire for the next Ricky Burns and the next Scott Harrison and the, you know these these boys to come through and, and yeah. really make a name for Scottish boxing. I guess right now that title's probably with Josh Taylor, right? Well, Josh Good Taylor. Win. Big fight coming up for Josh Taylor. Follows the fight tomorrow night. Yep. Josh Taylor looks like to be the the future, the, the future star. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely fantastic well, performance against O'Hara Davis, wasn't it? Yeah, incredible, yeah. Yeah, again, he's a lad with a fantastic amateur pedigree on Team yeah. GB. But yeah, there is a, there's a bustling scene in Scotland. They just probably need a few of the lads to come through and British titleists and... They've obviously got the big fan base up there, which is why they keep trying to give us the Ricky Burns fights, because they know the fan base is up there in Scotland. Well, yeah, well, exactly, and the fan base will corners. travel, as you can hear, yeah. as the Ricky Burns fans travel to the Crawler fight, which I was lucky to be ringside for. And Seconds out. You're always going to get two. great supporters. With, with, the, with the Scottish, they're fantastic, because, mm. they, as you can hear, they're vocal, they enjoy the night, they scream their heads off for... for yeah, it's, 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 it's brilliant. I mean, you know, again, like... Going to a fight in Scotland is a, is a pleasure. Oh, absolutely. I've been up there to watch a few fights and the atmosphere, even in the small shows, is fantastic. Yep. They really do make themselves known. And they know all about Namibia. As they you certainly say. do. And they don't want a repeat of that today, do they? Jordan McCurry just slightly holding Brandafo's arm there and the ref not getting involved early. Big punches down. That's, that's Two. Three, oh, cool coming in four, there, very silly. And I, five, I mentioned earlier that six, he does get caught. Cool. Seven, yeah. There's no, he's eight, not hurt. There's no he's way he's, he's all, off no. balance. He yeah. was just wild. He's just off balance, really. I thought for a second John Layden, the referee, might call that a slip. He was so, so off balance. Look, didn't it? Yeah. That might just fire him up a bit. He looked to his corner. They asked, "Are you okay?" And he nodded and said, "I'm absolutely fine." And well, if it's a tight fight, he's he's lost the round because yeah. of basically just being a bit rash. Renefa needs to control his boxing. He's throwing punches wildly. You kind of see how he was off balance with that knockdown. He's got to be, he's got to be a bit calm. They've got to tell him in the corner, just slow down a little bit. Um, he's rushing his work, and I think he's spoiling his work when he's doing that. an intriguing one, isn't it? It is. I think Jordan's definitely started the better. Um, I always expected that with Duane Dapper to be fair. I've always got oh, again. again. Again, it's just, it's more off balance. It's a wild anything. swing and he's completely off balance as he tried the wild swing and then he, he's hobbling all over the place. Yeah, he's dangerous game. And this is just giving McCurry confidence. And that's exactly what you don't want to do. And crowd will start feeding off it as well and he doesn't want to do it unfortunately he's getting caught with shots here that are his own fault more than anything That shot has not worked out that shot yet from Jordan McCory. Always gets caught coming in with that little that little left from Jordan McCory. And they've got to have a word with him in his corner about getting caught like this. It's very, very awkward stuff there from Brad Dapper. Yeah, it's a, it's a kind of awkward fight, isn't it? Yeah, it, you think something's gonna happen in this. The, with the, the styles gel or what, but the, it is very intriguing, but, but it is awkward and it's been... It, it is awkward and I, I feel like it, it, almost awkward because of Brandapo's style. But you almost feel like he's not hurt by these punches. It's almost like he's almost embarrassed to go down there. Like, oh, ref, I wasn't hurt and he clicked. It wasn't a, 
But it wasn't even a proper even a punch, punch was it, was it? A, it was basically a punch to the back. Is it's just knocked down then? Well, he's regardless, he's only himself to blame for being so off balance. Yeah. Uh, you know, he, he's, his angles are all wrong. Absolutely. He's just got to get back to so basics, really. Corners. And he's handing it to McCurry in a, in a way at the moment. So he's. Second down. Round three. The referee's going to be seeing this, and obviously a referee won't like the untidiness of, of, of Duan Dapo. It will work against him. Better shot there from Grandapo. That, that definitely caught McCory. One thing about Duan Dapo, and one thing a lot about the African fight is they're very, very fit. So the, the, you, again, got caught coming in. He keeps, keeps getting caught coming in with that same shot. But yeah, one thing about him, they're very, very fit. So the, I think there's an opportunity for make, him to make rounds up later. But he can't fall four or five rounds behind him, then it's just game over. But he has fought away from home before against Roman Andreev in Russia. He put in a good performance there in losing for the WBO Intercontinental Lightweight title. So he can box away from home, but he's just not showing the true best form here right now. Again, looks silly coming in, stumbling in there. He seems to just turn away. Turns away and then, then he's off balance and he can get caught with silly shots. And as you say, he's experienced, you know, he went to the middle of nowhere in Russia for that big fight. I mean, that, that, that must have been an incredible learning experience for him. So nothing that he's seeing here should phase him. Exactly. But unfortunately, right now, it doesn't like it's phasing him. I don't know I don't know why he's rushing his worker. Maybe he's a bit too hyped up, too pumped up. He just needs to take a breather in there and just do what he knows how to do, which is boxing. Right now, unfortunately, he's been out boxing and pretty easily outboxed as well by Jordan McCory, I think. Well, I think Jordan's just allowing him to make mistakes. He's, he's not doing an awful lot, Jordan. He's moving around and and energy is being energy. He's a, he's a bundle of that and he's marching around, but he's, he's just not found any rhythm. What we haven't seen so far tonight is a stoppage. Um, and, and you wonder if it could come in this fight. Dwayne Dapo. I don't know, you can see another knockdown, can't you? You can see the way he comes in swinging wildly. You can almost see him getting caught and going down. Maybe not being stopped, but getting caught just because of his own silliness more than anything. As you said before, though, the, the fitness levels and the attitude of the African guys. Uh, and, you know, and Jordan, his record, three, three KOs in 14 wins, he, he's not exactly a knockout specialist. So, the, the you know, his game isn't all about power. And, and you, at this point, you would say, it looks like going the distance because you're not going to stop Duan Dapo easily. No, absolutely. And I don't, right. I'm not sure that's, that's he's so heavy-handed. I don't think Jordy's so heavy-handed. Yeah, that's why I said they kind of both mirror each other a bit as well. Neither are big punchers. Both of them have got a lot of energy. Uh, I think when you give rounds away like Duan Dapo did, unfortunately, it's a long way back. Punch there from Grandapo. Probably the best punch of the round. Didn't throw enough of those. Ten seconds, corners. Seconds out. Round four. Remember, this is a fight. It's a 10-round fight, sorry, in a featherweight division. So then Dreyfus probably lost the last three rounds. Still got a lot of work, you know, working up to do, but he can do it. This is a 10-round fight, so he's got every opportunity here to try and claw his way back into this fight. Oh, 
but you're completely right there. There's a long, long way to go. Neither man has managed to establish anything resembling a jab. Yeah, we've had um, things that look like jabs, but nothing <laughs> that I'm pretty sure is a jab. Both of them really trying to hurt each other with the right hand. I don't think they're real. Oh, good uppercut from Andwan Dapper there. Two uppercuts and on the inside. I don't know if they hurt Makari, but again, getting better, throwing better punches. a little nick now under the right eye of oh big punch there as well coming in as a fighter you see those little nicks and it does kind of give you that bit more energy that i can hurt him um, and he has caught mccrory a couple times in this round and he'll get a bit more confidence to end up i think it's a better round for him he's got to throw that jab to set these shots up he keeps throwing the big right hands and nothing setting nothing up here that's more like it double jab from him Dapper there Good right hand as well from Mandapo. Corey comes back with some weighty punishment of his own. He's just shaping up a little bit better now. Both having successes with bigger shots. Yeah, it's kind of similar to what we've kind of said throughout all the fights, where they're kind of just seeing each other out. Again, yesterday was the first time these guys would have probably seen each other for the first time at the weigh-ins. And now they're kind of judging each other and assessing each other in the first couple of rounds. I think they've done it now. I think we should get a good fight from here on. A bit messy, and Jordan McCurry's holding on a bit here. And, and Brand Up is saying, look, he's holding on to me. Remember, Brand Up's nickname is Energy. He will keep going here. Big deep breath from Jordan McCurry. Brand Up will keep going. Mini competition over that corner there, Scotland versus Namibia. Ah, oh, they're all having fun. What do you tell to Duane Dapper in the corner here? Somebody needs to just establish some Ten rhythm. Seconds, corners. Again, easier said than done there. The guys in there that have got to try and work it out, but mm. it's just been a bit scruffy. Yeah. It's been a bit untidy. And neither man is five. neither man's fighting the fight they want to fight. Absolutely. Randapo trying to use his jab a bit more now. Good right hand again, smart. Throw that jab a few times and then through the overhand right. Punches landing there from Duandapa. Not big punches, but again, scoring punches. The referee's going to see those. He's going to see that it's Jordan holding on here, I think. And I don't know if Jordan's getting a bit tired, but Duandapa again, Mr. Energy, just seems to throw a lot of punches. Doesn't stop. Caught Jordan there going in a couple of times as well. Yeah, it's hard to work out what the tactic is, really, isn't it? It's a good right hand from Duandapo there. He's landed that right hand a few times now.
tough fight to score this one. I know I've said that all for all the fights, but again, this one a very, very tough fight to score. You might have a colleague just edging it simply because of the the knockdown. And then again, put your head in yourself in John Layden's head. He might be getting annoyed with some of the scruffy stuff that McCurry's doing in terms of holding and some of the rash off balance Duandapo early rounds. So yeah, yeah it's, it's very hard. Now you're right, that knockdown could play a massive part in this fight. These rounds are very, very tight. And getting that early lead that McCory got could could help him here. Even if he does start to get tired in the latter rounds. Why well don't from Duandapo then? McCory came in, caught him. Very, very scruffy work from both men here. Dom, you said it here, nothing being established here, no jab. You kind of don't know what's been told by both corners, to be fair, because nothing happening. We roll out a little cliche, you know, about styles making fights. <laughs> and, you know, styles gelling. None of that's happened in this No, one. no, it's definitely the opposite of both cliches there. Duandapo there, just watching the replay of that fight. So that round, that punch, good. F better from Duandapo, a lot better in that round. Again, very scruffy, but I think he's landing the cleaner shots, Dom. I think, I think you're Ten right. Seconds. I think that sometimes he seems to smother his own good work. So a good shot like that, and then it's all arms and stuff, and it's untidy. Whereas if he stood, he just managed, is he just got his rhythm, lands a clean shot like that, follows up with a clean shot, rather than it's all then wild, and I just think it, it just might be camouflaging some of the great work that he has actually done it's it, it's not been easy on the eye and it's it's not always eye-catching some of the shot he, he should some of it should be a little bit more eye-catching at times absolutely now did that big overhand right again Jordan's very smart though one thing Jordan does do and, it, and it's very good for a guy with with no well, he's not had that many fights Jordan but every time he gets caught does hold very good experience Referee having the word with McCory here, saying, look, you're holding too much here, stop holding. Just like he said, he's threatening him to say, I'll take a point away if you keep holding there. <laughs> Both of them trying to establish a jab now. mccory has got to be careful, that overhand right, he just keeps on getting tagged with that overhand right all the time. Well, the endeavours of both men are very clear, aren't they? They're both trying everything. They're trying to work it. Good work from McCorry there. Again, lands a decent right. Takes a little half step back now, trying to use the ropes. A wild right from Dapo. Oh, big, big good shot, shot from close in. Good shot close in. Probably the best shot that we've seen so far. McCorry comes back. Big, big shot. Well, this is livening things up a bit. People on their feet, they're enjoying the action now. Both men doing a bit of gunslinging now. This must be a nightmare for McCory though. Just when Dapper just keeps on coming forward. It must be awful to fight fighters like this that don't take a breather, don't take a step back, just keep on coming every second of every round. And that's exactly what Grand Dapper does. One thing it has done, and, and I think it's been a great thing for African boxing tonight, 
is if, it, if any of the UK lads looked at records and thought, well, they'll just be padded because they fought no one and it's a small village of boxing in South Africa and, you know, it, it's just showing just what good operators these boys are. Absolutely. And these are guys that don't get all the, you know, all the best chances, all the big fights, but, you know, they try and do, they, they do what they can do and as you can see from Grand Depot here, He's making this a very, very tough fight. He just keeps on coming. The Corey's doing well to avoid a lot of these. But Randapa will keep coming. Remember, this is a 10-round fight. Second, Second battle of the draw between Van Royen and Ben Sheedy, so all up for grabs still here. Second out, round seven. Still a way to go. A lot of way to go. Round seven of here of around ten fight in the featherweight division between Abraham Gwendapa from the Namibia in the orange and Jordan McCurry from Paisley, Scotland in the white and green. One thing's for sure, McCurry's going to have to show how fit he is because this is a real grueling kind of a fight with so much holding and clinching and wrestling and it's been untidy. So you're going to need those fitness levels high in these latter stages. We're going to see if we get any bombs from Bomb Squad. You might have thought it was Deontay Wilder's. I thought that was Deontay no, Wilder's. No, 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 no. Is it McCurry's? McCurry said he was there first. Ah, OK. Bombs. Oh, big shot from Dwayne Defoe there. of Deontay Wilder, bomb from Bomb Squad. Obviously, they're trying to set up the big Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua fight. Um, what's your thoughts on that one? Who, who would you go for? Joshua, probably, only because Wilder, by name and nature. is wild, isn't he? Oh, I, I just, I, he, does, he never boxes enough Wilder. I've never seen him box. He, he, he just, he's all, you know, he is all bombs. Bronze he is all bombs. Well, this Wilder. is the crazy thing. He has the amateur pedigree, but I haven't seen him box as a pro, or, or, only in very, very rare little bursts. So, I don't know, I mean, you know, you can make a case for both men. I guess 39 fights, 38 KOs, Absolutely. so he can punch, that's one thing he can Again, definitely do. Whether he's nicked it off McCurry or not, the bomb squad, <laughs> it, it works, don't get me wrong. He's, he's got an awful lot of power in those, yeah. those mitts. So, I don't look, it, it, it's, a, it's one of the only fights out it's there in that division. Yeah. It's one of the only ones. I mean, obviously, if Fury comes back, it's a different world, but... At the moment, there's only there's only really that fight, so it would be a good one. It'd be an intriguing one, and, and you can make a case for both. I would probably favour Joshua at this moment in time. Do you think it happens in 2018? Yeah, of course it does. It has to. A lot of money to be made. Yeah, there, there, there might be there might be a tune up for both men first, but it's a big summer fight, that isn't it? Absolutely. Neither man can can find that rhythm still. Obviously, the corner of McCurry celebrating the landing the jab, and it's any success like that. You know, it's, it's just get the the traditional. Traditional skills working, see if you can create the opening, see if you can try and create that rhythm. Absolutely no way do I know how the referee is scoring this fight. It's very, very difficult. Um, 
Again, the only round I do know concretely is the first round when Dwayne Dapper was down. Other than that, I don't know, absolutely no idea. Both men really smothering their work. I think Dwayne Dapper's lands it the better shots, but again, like you say, every time he lands a shot, he just smothers it. Um, but Corey needs to do a lot more. Um, he seems to be the man that probably has the better boxing ability, but Again, I don't know. Maybe it's just style of Dwayne Duffer is making it very difficult for him. I'm not sure. Ten seconds. I think that's what it is. I think both guys are making life awkward for the other now. You'd expect them to do that, but not for the reasons that they'd want. Just haven't managed to gel. stay a little bit out of bother and just to invite the wildness invite that wildness back from Don Dapo that caused the knockdown yeah I think that's almost a smart ploy for him I, I, you know he's up probably on the scorecards and he doesn't really need to get involved here he can just stay away and do what he's done almost a well, good shot there from Don Dapo again always throws that that big wild right hand and McCurry keeps on getting caught but he's got to be careful but yeah McCurry can just stand the back foot here and I think win Quite comfortable, I say comfortably. Comfortably as you can against someone like Dwayne Dapo, but really and truly, Dwayne Dapo has just got to do, he's, he's got to make the work look a lot cleaner as Dwayne Dapo. He, he, he's making it look very wild and aggressive, and I, again, I don't think those wins you any points, on, and the referee's not going to look at it. This favorite. is the problem, you know, if the referee feels that there's not much in it, but the, the more skilled boxer who's trying to be the boxer. And it, yeah, the wildness just might work against the Ndapo. Here we are, round eight. Remember, it's a 10 round fight here in the featherweight division. Jordan McCurry in the white and green from Scotland. Abraham Ndapo from Team Africa, from Namibia in the orange there, Mr. Energy. Showing a lot of energy tonight, but maybe not a lot of skill in there. And I think that's probably. He's rushed his work, and maybe too much energy, really, from Dwayne Depo. Still got a couple of rounds to try and claw this back, but I have him a few rounds down in this one. But again, tough fight to score. Don't envy the referee here. Very, very difficult one to score. This. Just there, McCurry trying to faint with the, the knee. Again, he's not done a great deal of that. It's probably a, a good tactic against somebody like Don Dapo if he is going to react and maybe then find the opening just to, to use that kind of faint with the knee. Something the likes of Tony Bell you do very well. Little shoulder push there for McCurry. He's not happy. Don Dapo caught him on the back of the head when he was turned around. He wasn't happy about that. I think he's frustrated. Mm. He can't look good in front of his fans. You know, th this is again. Th th he's probably thinking, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in there with an African lad I've never heard of. I'm gonna put on a show, and all the people that have come from up north, they're gonna, they're gonna see me back, back to you know, being devastating and being great. And it's just very, very hard because he can't look good against Duandapo. You can't. Uh, and I, I kind of said that Duandapo was almost like a, a, a Antonio Margarito just keeps on coming forward. And that's a disservice to Margarito there. <laughs> Grand Napo is even he, he's more difficult than that. He really is. Ten seconds, corners. It, it's not like he's trying to kill Paul McCurry's work. He's trying to do his own work, Grand Napo. It's just that Second his down. style is McCurry's no answer to it. So it's not like he's, he's without ambition trying to kill the fight. He's Absolutely. not. He's, he's no, trying no, to he's win trying. the fight every second of every minute of every round. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. The 
This is a really, really tough fight. This one that really does sort of make you question your gas tank here and all that road work you've done, all that sparring. This is where it all counts here. These are the kind of fights. Good, good shot from McCory there. Nice little left hook. Dwayne Duffer wants it back with the same, same punch of his own. If it wasn't for that knockdown, this, this is this really is a 50-50 even fight. But that knockdown, you kind of think, might just give the edge to McCory here. Yeah, and Dapo, Dapo is, is being the aggressor now. You know, he's he's on the front foot. Absolutely. And has been for the last couple of rounds. So, again, again, it's what you like. <laughs> well, be careful, those heads have come very close a couple of times. Van Deffer does lead with his head a little bit. I know they've complained in the corner of McCory about this, but got to be careful. But that's just his style. He does come forward very, very quick and comes in straight lines as well, doesn't he? Yes. Yeah. Oh, good punches there from Van Deffer, but again, gets, gets tied up. Needs to needs to throw those punches and get out of the way because McCory does time up every time he lands. I think... Oh, oh, this is big. This is very, very big. The referee did say he was going to give a point. The referee said he was going to give him a point. I think that was in round seven. A bit harsh, that, I think, considering how scruffy the fight is. But it's the holding, it's the constant holding. The referee's giving a point. Well, it's going to be a 10-8 round. That's even out, evens out the first round, doesn't it? It does indeed. I think overall the cue to work, not that there's much in it, has come from McCorry, but that just adds a, a very different dynamic now. I think round 10. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I think you're going to see the two guys. <laughs> Show everything they've got left. Absolutely. I mean, we had a draw in the last one, and could have a draw again this one. I'll be honest with you. That that 10-8 round is probably could even things up here, and I expect this last and final round to be explosive. I think both men will go for it, and I think they have to as well because I don't think any of them can be too confident about the scorecards. They're not happy in McCory's corner about that point being deducted at all. Fair, fair deduction, you think? I think, as you said then in commentary, scorer. it seemed a little harsh. Mm. It has been such a scruffy fight. You couldn't, yeah. you couldn't really blame one or the other for the doing the odd little one. thing. Absolutely. Because yeah. it's, it's just been very hard for them to find any rhythm. So you have to get lots of holding, lots of grabbing, lots of... But both have been as bad as each other, really. So. A low blow there, I thought, from McCory as well. Referee had a look at it, but I know he's not, he doesn't really want to give another point he away. He probably but feels he's punished him. Enough, he was right? borderline last time for giving the point, and he, he's let him get away with that one. Yeah. Oh, another big right hand. He's been catching with those shots all night. That's Dwendafo. To be fair to McCory, he does not hurt from them, but he's been caught, and that's something that he needs to work on once they get back to the gym. That overhand right can't be getting caught. Duan Dapo's not a puncher, and if he was a puncher, this fight could have been over, you know, with those big right hands. McCory on the back foot here, I think he... Maybe he does and his corner thinks he's won this. I, I don't know, I don't see it like that. I think maybe he has to win this round to almost cement it, but very, very close fight. Yeah, I like the previous fight. Uh, it, unless the scoring's wide, you, you're not, you can make an argument for both men nicking it. They've got it, it's got to be nicked because there's nothing in it. 
Absolutely. And that's why, again, I can't remember the last time I saw two bouts end in a draw. But... Oh, big two shots from Dwayne Dapo. Lands a big right and a big left. McCrory does well. He holds on a little bit there, but those shots definitely hurt him. And well, if he wasn't winning a round, he's definitely won the round so far on those two big shots. Well, there's still time for both men to nick the round and possibly the fight with how they end now in this final 60 seconds. I mentioned earlier in commentary that Grand Dapper will definitely go to full 10 rounds. Loads of energy. You wouldn't know it was the first or the 10th for him. He's got so much energy. Big uh, shot again from Grand Dapper. Incredibly fit. McCurry looks exhausted now. They look worried in the corner of McCurry as well. He's shipping a few big punches here. Yep, yeah, he's just moving around now. Fair play. He got caught. He's come back with his own now and he's. Looking a little blooded and weary in there now, McCorry. It's a good yes. end. Good end this for Duan Dapo. Very, very good end from Duan Dapo. <laughs> Nini, Nini pulled himself over there. He's got to be careful. Last 20 seconds here. Great performance from Duan Dapo in terms of the energy as well, anyway. He's kept this energy up from round one. A couple of big shots from Duan Dapo again. Well. A bit silly for McCorry, he just he left himself there. Oh, he's wow. high. The door is fired up. Air. Thinks he's won it. I'm, I don't know. I'm not, oh, I don't know. Another tough, tough fight to score that one. This fight was for the international challenge title. Is it going back to Scotland or is it going over to Team Africa and Namibia? I, I really don't know. It's a close one. Remember, McCory did have, he did have, he did have, he did have him now, Mr. Energy down in round one, but that got evened out with a 10 8 round in round nine, so. Again, yeah, very, very difficult fight to score. Who, who would you go there for, Dom? You, you predicted the last fight, right? You said it was a draw and it was. Give me your thoughts I've on this I've got a one. feeling McCurry might just nick it for having the slightly cuter work. Nothing in it. Absolutely I wouldn't argue either way, there's all. nothing in it, but I think McCurry possibly just a bit cuter, trying to box a little bit more. If the referee prefers that, he might just get it. I think we're ready for a decision here. Let's go to our MC. Mike Pass with the big decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of championship action, sole arbitrator this evening for this contest, Mr. John Latham, has adjudged 95 points to 93 points for your winner. He is the new International Challenge Super Featherweight Champion, hailing from Gambers Lang, Scotland, Jordy McCoy. And a fine effort, ladies and gentlemen, from Namibia's Abraham Ondiendepo. Maybe just like you said, the, the, the better work, maybe the cuter work. From Trident from Sports, Saul Loggenberg has presented the championship belt proudly to Jordan. They will be disappointed. I can see they're shaking their head with that. They will be disappointed, but I think he gave the first three or four rounds away. That was a problem. And then after that, maybe tried to scrape it back. But maybe just didn't do enough. I just think as well in the referee's mind those those really wild early rounds that where falling off balance going down and he could see probably McCurry's trying to box and trying to find a rhythm even though he was struggling massively yeah. to do that that's possibly just swayed it from there's nothing in that I mean that it, it's it was, a, draw again, it was a fairly it? horrible fight let's face it <laughs> but it could have been a draw. I think had the pre previous fight not been a draw, that might have been a draw. You know Maybe. what I mean? It might yeah. psychologically plays in people's minds. Absolutely. But look, yeah, again, had Duandapo nicked that by a round or two, no problem. You complain, no would problem you? at all. No. Macquarie, yeah. similarly, I can just, I can see, I can see why.